Let's say you're a female scorpion in Africa. Your biological clock is ticking, and it's time to mate. You attract a suitor by sending self-generated perfume wafting into the air. Naturally, a wandering male comes scuttling toward you. To seal the deal, you send out good vibrations, which are picked up by these ultra-fine sensory organs. Your eyes are like limpid pools, all eight of them. You've attracted a partner, but you are still in complete control. Why? Because if he doesn't fulfill his role, you can kill him at any time. He grasps you by the forelimbs, caressing you with his tail. So far, so good. Now it's time for the courtship dance. There's more to this than a quick spin around the dance floor. His strategy, of which you are well aware, is to plant a sperm packet on the ground and then maneuver you on top of it, hoping you'll take it into your body. Maybe it's the raffish twinkle in his eye. Maybe it's the way he shakes his scorpion booty, but you take in the sperm, leaving the empty packet behind. And with that, he's out of there. No laundry, no pals over to watch football on the big screen TV, no sharing in the bathroom. He can't hang around, or you may very well eat him. And you live out the gestation period alone. I hope you like being with child, because a scorpion's gestation period is a colossal 18 months. That's double a human's, longer even than a whale's. Finally, you give birth. The ghost white baby is born fully formed. You are a superior scorpion mom.